Sarah, you have become not only an utterly useless human being, but a genuine pain in the frigging ass. Okay, welcome back to the program. Joining me here, yet again. But for the last time I assure you, former governor of Alaska, the 2008 Republican vice presidential candidate, and current festering boil on the ass of humanity, Sarah, little G.W. Bush, Palin. Yeah. Let's hear it for the trailer trash skank from fucking nowhere. Yahoo! Now, what in God's name do you want? Ha 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 he he ha ha. Larry, you're the stereotypical, bitter old prick that fears change, have one foot firmly in the grave, and will burn in hell for all eternity, for opposing the Lord's will, and standing in the way of me fulfilling my destiny as leader and spiritual counselor. For the greatest country in America. Let me give a shout out to my fellow Christian soldiers, and fans of course. What up yo, viva la revolution, love ya out there. Yeah. Yahoo, and, the most important, my dear sweet Clem, from the skyrocketing show on YouTube, Clem's Corner, the most incredibly hot genius I've stooped, since the now infamous crazy camping trip we took. Rush Limbaugh, Newt Gingrich and I ventured into the wilderness, so that we could get a better view of Russia. Do a crazy little threesome, and slaughter defenseless, beautiful, and endangered species, all from the safety of one of our many taxpayer-funded aircraft that we used to murder wolves, bears, whales, and, you know all of the wildlife that's left, especially those Eskimos, the young ones are hard to shoot, little terrified rascals. I guess that's why the Lord, provided grenades and flamethrowers to the chosen ones. Nothing like Eskimo babies in your crosshairs, wearing fur, that's engulfed in flames, it's a real hoot. A quick shout out to the Lord and all his glory, you go big man. Flamethrowers. You the man. Wee hoo, yippee he's all that and a bag of chips. The good chips with sea salt, and, it says so in the Bible, the only book we don't intend to burn, when I seize the throne at the White House, ooh ah yeah yeah, awesome hoopty hoo. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> Clem? We talked about Clem the last time you were here. How did this start? How did you meet Clem for instance? Oh, that Clem, he gets me hotter than a six-titted bullfrog on a tin roof in August, as he would say. A quick shout out to the Clemster. Or as we all know him, the alpha male, and father of the baby I'm carrying inside me as we speak. Hi baby cakes. I miss you terribly. Well, aside from being part of, our savior's debbing plan of course. We ran into each other at a sporting goods store in South Georgia. He was stocking up on pork rinds, and I was loading up on beer, some big game ammo, and, refurbishing my hunting wardrobe with the latest line of hunting fashions available. Funded of course, by the mindless cattle or should I say, taxpayers, on my way to Florida, to once and for all wipe the planet clean of the manatee, a large, gentle sea mammal that's lots of fun, to lure in close enough and shoot it point blank in the gut with a 10 gauge loaded with nickels. The gut shot ensures a slow painful death for the scourge of the ocean, while simultaneously filling the water with blood, or chum slash fresh bait, so we can senselessly continue killing indiscriminately for days. It's the most fun you can have with your pants on. Anyway. He walked over to me, and said the sweetest thing I think I've ever heard. First, I overheard him say to his little sidekick Cricket, Heads up you stupid little bastard, check out the shitter on that critter. <laughs> well, I blushed, and winked at him several hundred times and finally, he walked over and said, Damn it girl, nice swing in your backyard. You want a hot dog, to go along with the shake. I said heck you know it fella, he said how much. I was flattered. Needless to say, we slipped into the men's room and became, as one, our sweaty bodies starting to lather, our boots sliding around on the urine-saturated floor of the- Stop right there. You were going to make me blow chunks. Again. So the baby was conceived in the 50s stall in a men's room at a bait and tackle store. How am I not surprised? So, how did Clem handle the news? Did he welcome the thought of fathering a child with possibly the most tainted? And without a doubt the dizziest bitch on the entire planet? Or is it sadly just another bastard in what is already a bastard riddled family? It says here on my hand that he will get used to the idea. So I'm confident that he will raise our child in accordance with southern tradition and fine Alaskan. Um, let's see, talking about clam made my palm sweaty and smudged my writing. <laughs> Alaskan, um, Alaskan, yeah yeah. With Alaskan, Eskimo baby murdering and skinning skills, yeah that's it. Quick shout out to all my peeps out there that be paying taxes. 
A big old yippee ki yo ki yay to my posse out there that pay for my incredibly lavish lifestyle and those of all my bastards, I mean baby wherever they all may be what up yo. That's it. Gotta get mine yo. That's it. You have gone to far this time. And you have to be put down like the pregnant yak you are. Um, what method should I use? Larry, you impotent little bitch you, Clem will skin your lousy ass like a catfish. Like I do baby koala bears. You may be interested to know that we've contacted Clem and have informed him of the facts. As a matter of fact we have a call coming into the studio from Scooterville, Georgia right now. Stand by caller. You're as naughty as scroll dung and need to be put out of our collective misery. Kiss your ass bye bye. Bye bye. He loves me, Larry. Quick shout out for love. Yeah, yeah, woo, 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 love all up in the house. Caller, are you still there? Hello? Clem, are you on the line? We've just learned Clem may have been drinking very heavily since the shocking news. Clem, are you there? Okay, we have him. Clem, are you all right, my friend? Clem. <sighs> About the abomination you helped concoct here. Hold it together. Do you love Sarah? Okay. Can you convey any message at all? Clem, a message for me, sweetie. Clem, do you love me? Clem says, Well, Larry, I have to be running along now. I better. Oh, golly. Um. I'm. I think you were trying to say that you need to haul ass. I can see you're getting the hell out of here while you're able. Just one last thing before you go. Here's a quick shout out to my dog Clem. Wrap it up next time, bro. I damn, I got to bounce. See you all next time. Peace. Let's roll, y'all. Later. <laughs>